Todd, you all set? I am. Questions for our student athletes? Christian, um, it seems like those spurts that were of a concern to you guys uh, earlier in games are getting a lot shorter and the positive spurts are getting a little bit longer. You know, just, uh, you know, talk about the reasons for that in particular with this game and, uh, you know, was, the effort is getting more consistent, it seems. Um, we're, just, we're just talking to ourselves more in, in huddles and in timeouts that even if, um, you know, they, they get a run that, uh, you know, we can still get three stops after that and uh, just continue to play that, that, we're, that we're doing. I mean, uh, I think um, our play has really picked up. Our defensive intensity has really been uh, picked up. So, I mean, you know, we have lapses, but I think those are the things that we need to, um, you know, lessen more and more every game. But as long as we keep talking to each other and uh, just tell each other that it's just a run and we can stop that run, then we'll be all right. Yeah, Devontae, it seems like the defensive intensity has definitely ratcheted up the last couple games. Uh, and it doesn't seem like the offense is impacting the defense as much. You guys are, if you miss a couple shots, it's not, the defensive slippage isn't, hasn't been as bad. Uh, but what do you attribute their, you know, kind of the focus that the team has had in that respect to? I think we just growing up as a unit. I mean, that was that was part of our struggle. We would be three guys that are still locked in, but it would be two guys that not as, not as locked in as the other three. So we are growing up as a unit. We understand that at the end of the day, it's going to come down to defense. If you get three stops in a row, you got a chance to beat anyone. And that's what, that's what we harped on the entire game, especially in the second half when, you know, they start making a little runs and, and we needed to stop them. And we started just, you know, put our heads together and we said three, three stops, three stops. Did that and, and then we came out with a win. Do you think it's as simple as some of the guys who haven't played are just starting to get used to what's expected of them defensively and getting used to the pace that they need to play and, and all that? Uh, I, mean, I won't say that because that's, I mean, that's kind of an excuse because, I mean, I mess up, K. Smith messed up sometimes. and. It's just the nature of the game. I mean, they're growing, and we're growing as units. It's, it, it's five it's five people on the defensive end, and if one guy messes up, your whole defensive principle is just kind of thrown out the window. So it's not necessarily on the youth. It's kind of just on as us growing together. Our chemistry is getting grown, we're getting better, and we're just bonding, and we're clicking a little bit at the right time right now. Brenton, uh, coming off the bench, and uh, you know, the idea is to give a spark, and you definitely gave a spark today. You know, just. Uh, Kind of reflect on your performance. I think you scored eight in a row, um, and that was a time when the game was kind of 50-50 and uh, needed a little bit of a uh, bit of an offensive edge, and, and you were able to provide that. Yeah, that's my job. You know, as a six man or a guy coming off the bench, you know, just to spark some energy for us. And uh, you know, the ball was you know coming to me, and I was able to knock down shots, and my teammates was looking for me. And, you know, I was feeling good about my shots, and uh, you know, I felt you know I felt pretty good about that. For any three of you guys, uh, the feel this year going into Christmas and, and the, the Valley season, it's a lot different in a positive way than it was last year. You know, just talk about how that affects things and how you guys deal with, uh, you know, having a three-game win streak. And uh, uh, it, it's a happy thing to have, but you also, you know, you want to maintain the focus that created it too. The good thing about it is everyone's going in at zero zero. End of the day, and the teams that they predicted to be one, two, three, and four, I mean, they got the same, some of them got the same record as us, so. That's a good thing, and the thing about us is we kind of now guys are sitting back and finding their roles, and you got Beast Scott who's been leading us offensively the last two games, and Case Smith defensively has been leading us the last two games, and, and everybody's starting to feed off those guys going to the conference, and now we got the blueprint and foundation laid, and now all we got to do is just keep building on top of that, building on top of that, going to the conference. Yeah, Christian, how much is your ankle hurting? I know you came up briefly uh, when you got uh, tweaked, but uh, how much is that? doesn't look like it's affecting you much, but uh, how much are you having to fight through on that? Uh, I mean, it hurts every time I tweak it, but you know it's just a just a little two minute you know rest I need, and you know the adrenaline just kicks in, and just just trying to get back out there on the court for my team. I, I, there's no way that I'm gonna sit out with this ankle or any injury that I have, just because I know how much this, this team needs me, and uh, you know this is my last year, so I'm not gonna let any little nagging injury just keep me on the sideline. Your defense has been huge, and you know there was one point in the second half uh, they put you on uh, Franco House, the big guy for Ball State, and. You're able to front him and keep him out of the lane. You know, just talk about, you know, those are plays that fans don't always notice, but they're but they're very important. And uh, you know, just uh, reflect on that a little bit. Um, I mean, I got guys, you know, like these two next to me that, that can always score the ball on offensive end. So you know, I'm not worried about getting my points. You know, I get more excited uh, shutting down the other team's best player. You know, that, that's that's what I get excited about. How I look at the scouting report every time, and, and I'm trying to find ways of how to stop him. What's his favorite moves? You know, that's that's what I really get excited about. He kind of got going a little bit. You know, I did, I did get a good stop on him, and I think that kind of stopped their little run that they had. And they just kind of got a little desperate and started jacking up threes and threes. I think that's the run we made right after that. For all three of you guys can chime in on this, but it was Greg's, uh, Coach Lansing's 100th career victory. Uh, you know, 
what does that mean to you guys? Be obviously, you all played a role in, in him getting a lot of those, and what does it mean to you guys to give him that milestone? It means a lot. I mean, you know, we came in this together, and uh, it just it means so much to help him out to get 100, 100 rim. You know what I mean? And the things that you know, fans and the media sometimes says about him about how he handles the team is just, I mean, he, he's proven. It's, what he does is proven, and, and we'll be happy to be part of you know, history. Anything? Did you guys? Do anything in the locker room for him after the game or anything like that? Uh, jumped on him. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got excited for him. You know, he works really hard. You know, I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, um, you know, I think he should have got those hundred wins a long time ago. You know, that that's our fault. But uh, you know, just excited for him. You know, that you know, he still has a lot more wins left in him. So, but to be a part of his first 100 wins, you know, being his 100 win team is just uh, you know an exciting milestone to be a part of. All right. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen.